Hey everybody and welcome on back to Building with Whip. Last episode we started working on this big old boat right here and in today's episode I am very happy to say that we are hopefully going to be finishing it up. We got a lot of things left to do. We got to do the whole interior of the ship. We got to do the sails and the masts and all that good stuff and we got to do all the little bits of decorating and things like that around the place just to make it fit in here a little bit more because right now we don't have a whole lot going on. As you can see, our road up here just kind of ends <laughs> right at this point, floating in midair. We got to start decorating this area up so it looks more like a finished build instead of just a boat with a random stone wall next to it. But yeah, last episode, we spent a lot of time building this one. If you guys want to check out how we built this, uh, I built a lot of this guy on cam with you guys, um, just kind of working through the different little parts of it. Be sure to check that guy out because it turned out to be really, really cool in my opinion. I'm really happy with this one. If you guys don't know, I have actually never built a boat this large before. I gotta say this one turned out pretty well for what I was expecting to happen. I was very much expecting to have one of those default Minecraft boats that's just super square looking and pretty ugly and not a whole lot of space on the interior. Here though, we actually have a good amount of space. This is our bottom floor right here. That's actually the bottom, bottom of the boat. We got that floor. We got this middle floor here where we can do some cool housing and like just commons areas and storage areas and things like that for all the people living in here. We do have this little guy coming down so he can make like a little storage area right in there and then have some people living back in that area. I don't know. We got plenty of ideas. If you guys have ideas of what we should do to decorate the interior, be sure to let me know down below. We have a captain's room and everything in here. I figured it'd be kind of cool to get like a big old map on the table or something like that for whatever the area is. That, that could be kind of fun to mess around with. But yeah, we got this guy here ready to go. I do need to go ahead and check out one thing here real quick with you guys after we get a nice old chicken in us. Um, we are gonna start with work on the mass here and trying to see what those guys are gonna look like. Can we place a block there? Okay, so that puts it up an extra block high. So we could go ahead and do something like that. And then let's see, that's one, two, three, and then that's one, then one, two, three. Let's, how, how weird does this look? Basically, I wanna get a point to where we can start doing like a direct line from there up to there and I feel like that'll give us a good point to design the rest of these guys. I feel like we might want to bring it back into maybe what if we actually did at that raise point we just kind of have it jump up a big thing and then smooth back down. That might be a good way. Let's go ahead and check that out. We can get our ender pearls to get out back over there real fast. Do bam and up here and what if we did like right there because I'm thinking this might be a little too tall if we do it the other way, it'll be way too high up that mass. But if we do this guy, we're looking at this basically coming up to the point of being, let's see, how do we want to do this? If we take you right here, nope, that's not where I wanted it. I wanted it right on there. And then we're basically going to go bam, 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 all the way kind of up to this point. I feel like this is almost going to be too short um let's take a look at this guy I, we might want to move that one out yeah that's a little too short for what i'm thinking because i want this guy to be so going up towards the top of this and then we'll do another mass underneath that kind of for the inner area of that to kind of connect them up a little bit more then back here we're gonna have a big mass right there we're probably gonna have two on this middle guy we might maybe maybe just one big one i'm thinking two would look kind of cool they're all gonna be curled up though so it looks a little bit better but yeah, so we got that. Let me actually go ahead and move this guy out there. And then I'm going to try and get the beams in on this so we can see just the general of what it's going to look like. So I'll be back with you guys soon. Welcome back, everybody. And here we go. We got some nice little dark oak uh, beams going across here using some half slabs. And that's where all of our stuff's going to be hanging down from all of the mass and everything. I'm thinking this front one is a little cramped. I tried putting this section in here as like where we'd like attach this sail to or something. I'm thinking we might want to just get rid of that guy. I feel like we need to get rid of that or we need to get rid of this front beam. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. I think we'll go forward with kind of making it with both of them in there and just kind of seeing what the end result looks like. And that sun is going down really fast. So we'll need to sleep here real quick. But what I want to get in here with you guys to do next here is start getting these just general areas on for these. So this guy right here comes out five blocks on both sides. Uh, then we got the one in the middle. So that's 11 wide. That one comes out four blocks on both sides, and the one on the back, I believe, is five on both sides. Then this one is seven on both sides, I believe. Uh, let me sleep real quick, though, and we'll take a look at this stuff, though. All right, we'll just go ahead and leave the bed up there, and we can come over here and take a look at this guy right here. I, I think I'm going to pull out some dark oak really quick that we can use to kind of pillow around here so that I know not to break the spruce. 
Um, but my plan was for these guys at least to kind of bring them out like this and then kind of, ooh, that's not where we want it. We want you right in that general area. Then we can break that guy out. And then this is basically coming all the way across here. It's going to look a little weird at first, I think. These guys are going to be a little difficult. We basically want to make it look like it's rolled up, but it's not super neat. We still want to mess it up a little bit. So we got the two right up there. And then on this side, what if we went ahead and just kind of did that guy right there. And then these, we want to have it looking like it's kind of along this line. Um, and then like from here, we can go to bring those guys in. I need to, I do have some shears on me. Ooh, that's lucky. We can go ahead and just use that. Oh, so much better. So much better. And then like right up here, we can go ahead and just do some action like this and get rid of that guy maybe. And then make it, I think this might make it look like it's pretty rolled up. I don't know, let's go ahead and jump down here real fast and take a look at this one. It's basically going to be a lot of trial and error for these guys. Uh, the masks are always really tough for me to do. That does not look good at all. <laughs> that does not look good at all. I was trying to make it look like there's a little bit of like a breeze flowing through it or something. Uh, guys, let me go ahead and mess this, with this one here. And I'll, I'll see what I can come up with. I'll be back with you guys in a few. All right, guys, welcome on back. So I went ahead and did a little bit more work than just cleaning up that front one. I kind of like this partially tattered, really messed up sails look that we got going on here. I did make these guys a little bit thicker to make it look like almost like the wind was pushing in this direction, like it'd come up through the sea, bounced off the mountains and kind of pushed up into the port area. And I think it worked out pretty well. So far, I think we got a good start for this guy. I have not really decided on the colors I want to do for this yet, but we do have all of the sails in here kind of furled up, ready to go to drop them down when we need to so that we can leave. And I think it gives a really cool look from kind of all over the place. So if we go ahead and ender pearl right on over here from a distance, this guy actually looks pretty cool. Oh my, I thought that was a lava pool for a second. I was like, our pearl is headed right for that thing. I think it's looking pretty good, but we are missing something. We do need to jump on top of those guys and put some flags on top of them. I'm thinking on top of every single one of these, we probably want to get a flag on top just to make it look a little bit better. Can we get that? Oh, look at that. We're good to go. And then here we can go ahead and just do some dirt, good stuff like that. And I wanted to go ahead and use a cobblestone wall right here kind of as a dividing point just to help shrink it down so it doesn't instantly go down to a fence and it gives us a little bit of color too as well. And then on top of that guy, we can do this little bit of system right here. And I was thinking it would come down to bam, 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 bam. And then we kind of drop this guy down here a little bit. And let's go ahead and get our dirt back in here. And what if we brought it over like this guy? We can just go ahead and bring kind of like that just to kind of loop him down here a little bit. I think that'll actually help create a cool little flag. Sorry for all the cars going by. It's pretty late at night, so I wasn't really expecting too many to go by here, but of course they are. I think that does a good job of making a flag that look like it's almost caught in the wind, but not quite. It's still a little big for what I really want, but I think that's gonna be the best we can really do in Minecraft, you know, because we don't really have wool half slabs. If we did, oh man, this would be a different game. If we had wool half slabs, guys, I would be able to make so many more cool things with these I would use wool blocks for so much stuff. I'll be honest, that actually be super, super nice. So yeah, we got that guy right there. Let me go ahead and get these other two on, and I think we'll come back and add some color into this build. All right, everybody, welcome on back. So we got our flags in, we got our masts in. I think this guy's looking pretty freaking awesome. But we do need to add some color into this. As much as I like the all white sails, and I think they look all pretty pristine and clean and all that good stuff, I think it's time that we got to go out and mix these guys up. I've come up with the color palette I want to use and we can go ahead and right up here and take a look at this one. So what I'd like to use is cyan wool and light gray wool in a more of a striped pattern. So we're going to go ahead and like do like that guy and that guy and then you right there and then you right there with our light gray wool and that wool just went flying away and then we can come back in here with our cyan if we can break this guy and then do we have some shears on us we still got some shears perfect let's go ahead and just we can just jump up here real fast then we can do this and i think it's going to look pretty cool uh, we can go ahead and take a look at this one i haven't tried the colors out before i just kind of like these colors for ships because it makes it look kind of like dirty but not really and i think it just adds a cool color bit especially for the ships when they're kind of the masts are pulled up and everything like that 
Okay, I do like that one. I think I want to see that across everything here. So I'll tell you guys what, let me go ahead and get that gone across all of our masks here, get rid of all the white wool and replace it with that kind of color pattern up there. And I'll be back with you guys and we can check it out. And welcome back guys. I think we got a good look going on here and I really, really am happy with this one. I ended up messing around with a few of these areas, trying to just make it looking like the colors are really splish splashed around and kind of folded up on one another. So they're not perfect stripes, they're just kind of blobby areas to it. And I think it gives a really good look to it. I actually really like this view from right down here. I think that's looking really awesome. One thing though that we do need to come in here and fix is the fact that the top of the deck is very, very boring. We don't really have a whole lot of stuff up here, so I figured we could start coming in and start detailing these areas out. Because like we got that guy right there, the way to get down. And I want to start by coming in here and actually like listing out just something right here above our uh, drop down area where we're going to be dropping the like cargo and everything down into the base like so we could open this out. And I figured it would look kind of cool with a little area that would like say open up for example. So I thought we'd be able to do that. And wow, that was a perfect number of trap doors. I was not expecting that at all. Beyond that though, I figured there'd be some like crates and things up here so we could get, maybe go ahead and add in a few note blocks, change a few of these guys around so they'd look a little bit different maybe do some work like that and then we got our crafting tables that we obviously need a few of these guys in here and then we can do maybe some action right there stacking up a few more crates i'd love to have some barrels but that's a little bit harder to come by in a blocky game but yeah just adding little details like this all around so we can make it look a little bit better even like simple stuff is like we need a light back here we gotta have some way for people to get back into this area and we probably need maybe like a table right here or something like that but i feel like a table outside might not be the best idea I'll tell you what guys, let me go ahead and figure out what we want to do on the top of this deck here and I'll be back with you guys as soon as I got a cool little like layout going on up here. All right, welcome on back guys. I have spent a very long time doing something probably that is going to be very, very minuscule. Um, but our elytra is almost dead now and that's going to give you guys a clue out to what I'm talking about. If you guys got any ideas, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, so up here we came in, we put some crates on this side, added some ladders to make it look like there's kind of a railing or something holding them back in there. We got these ones in here, we did this guy before, and I went ahead and added some more in here, we got a little light, and then I came up with our little steering wheel design type thing. I don't, I feel like the acacia doors really look the most rounded out of all of them. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm gonna be using these for wheels moving forwards. And then, when I spent the last, 25 minutes doing was this it is a map of the entire area and we can put it that way that's so that right there is where we are right now we got a village over there right over that way that's the iron farm papyrus is right on the edge there we can see castle bleak rock and we can see the whole sea and all that cool stuff and i was like you know what let's go to make a really cool map of the entire area i tried making one one size larger than this but th that area right there was still the corner and so it didn't really get a whole lot. So I shrunk it back down to this one after exploring half of the freaking huge one. And then I explored this guy. And I think it looks a little bit better. I like this one a lot more. I think this one's a lot more fun and a lot more worthwhile for what we're gonna do. And then we also got this one. This is showcasing where our first buried treasure was right over there. So I'm thinking I actually would like to go ahead and take you out of here, put our buried treasured map in that one. And it's gonna show buried treasured map right there, which is kind of annoying. But then down here, inside of the captain's quarters i wanted to make it look like we had some sort of a desk or something down here where he's been working and doing all his stuff i feel like we can't do it there because yep we're gonna do the desk nope we're not gonna do the desk on this way maybe maybe maybe, maybe. what if we just did a flat dark oak one like that so he can kind of face the back area and then we got that guy right there which i was thinking we can go ahead and throw some bookshelves in and then this one, this thing. I wanted to go ahead and take our item frames and plop this guy down here and put a map. This is like the map of where he's kind of traveling to, exploring everything. So we kind of, let's go ahead and rotate it around like that. I don't know, we'll leave it the normal way. So that that's actually north. But yeah, I figured we'd get a nice little map table in here. Maybe we go ahead and give him a nice light colored chair or something like that. We can on the side of the chair go ahead and grab some, uh, we don't have any oak trap doors. I was gonna say we could do some trap doors like that, make it look like an actual chair bit. And yeah, we got a lot of detail stuff we can throw in this area. We got a lot of extra stuff we can cram in here. We got that guy back hidden back in here, which we can actually do a double chest right there and that should be able to open. 
And then we can, no, we don't want to drop those off. Um, let's go ahead and throw another bookshelf in here actually. And then take you, take that out and put a chest right there. I think that'll look a little bit better. We can't use that chest per se, but I think it's better. And then of course we got to figure out what we're detailing out in this area. I was thinking we could probably go ahead and kind of make it look like this is a little bit of an entryway. And I'm thinking we're going to change this guy right out here to some birch logs. Uh, let me go ahead and change those out, guys, and I'll be back with you. Or no, I have I have some birch right here. We can do that real fast. We can just do bam right like that, and we can get those guys right in here, and then do bam, bam, bam. Okay, that does look a little bit better. That's in line with what the floor outline is, but I think that's okay. And then we got our item frame, put our map back, and bam, cool. So we got this thing right here. We could maybe drop down another one of that, put some food in there or something. I don't really know. I feel like we need some extra designs around here. We might need some paintings. We might need some extra detail bits. And we do have some dark oak stairs. So this could be like he has a chair right over here or something that he uses to like when he's like doing his research and chart in the course and all that cool stuff. And then he could have like his little dinner chair right here or his evening chair, I guess you could call it. That would be kind of, can we place, place, please? Um, Let's place right like that. Eh, eh, got it. Cool. Okay. Now. Okay. Now it's back. Okay. Let me go ahead and detail this area out a little bit. I'll be back with you guys. And welcome back guys. So we got everything here in place for the captain's quarters and I am so happy with this boat. I can't stop jumping around and looking at it. It's been a great, great time building this guy. I'm having a lot of fun. The captain's quarter is my first interior I've done in a very long time that I'm happy with. So. We got a little painting over here, a nice little sunset painting in case you don't want to look out across the sea and you know, it's the captain's quarters. Oh, I forgot the wool. I was going to bring in some wool and put in like a little bit of carpet right here or something like that. I'll do that here in just a second. Ooh, okay, we're getting negative light right on top of that slab. Um, over here for site, like railing cabinet type things, I ended up putting some acacia trapdoors. I kind of like them for that and they got a little bit of that orangey pinky reddy color in here, which is cool. Uh, Pop this guy out here just a little bit to make it a little bit thicker. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do that on the outside as well to help round out the back of the boat a little bit. We got our map there, then just some table space. I added some signs here to make it look like the table's kind of overhanging a little bit. This guy, we got a cooked chicken right in there because that's all the food I had on me. And then the bed. We went ahead and used our one bed and raised it up back here. And it's kind of still in that cyan color that we're using for this whole place. And I really like this guy. I was thinking about like we leave that door open and kind of look cool. Then we can use those four spots for that little rug. But anyways, first, let's go ahead and jump back here to the back of the boat. And we can go ahead and see if we can't. So I was thinking like we go like starting at that point right there, we start raising things up. So what if we did? No, that's not going to work. We need to open you. And then now we Nope, still nothing. Still nothing. Can you not? Please. Thank you. And we do bam, bam. And I think that's probably good. Yeah, so that'll give us kind of like a little bit of a push out job right there. And I think it's going to do, I think it's going to help a lot for that little area. Back up here, I was thinking we can come across here and kind of just do a little bit of a side railing right there on that guy. And then maybe we actually leave those middle ones open just kind of as a railing area for this to have something to hold on to or something like that. A little bit more of a dividing space. So using lines to really break up the area. I think it's going to help us out a lot. Now for the important part that we're doing in this little part here. I wanted to go ahead and start figuring out what we're going to do for the floor area. So we are a little bound right here for using this space right there as kind of this drop shoot area for everything to come inside. We are going to use a lot of trap doors in this area to help divide up the room a little bit better and we can go and do something like that. So then I was thinking we come over to this side and we're probably going to go ahead and do something like this as well. And this gives us a little bit of space on all the different sides to have our own little areas right here for what everything is going to end up looking like this guy right here. We're going to go ahead and we'll leave that like that for now, just in case that gets closed. There's a little area to walk around right here. This is kind of be where all the our storage comes down and is kind of held and everything like that. I figured right throughout this area and you know what we were going to say it was going to be stored down below as well. So we might want to provide some way that they can get their things back throughout here because this way I was imagining that we go ahead and bring this back to here and then we have some area for like the crew members to sleep kind of back inside this area right here. We kind of cut that off. So we do a little bit of a job like this and bam and bam and then that kind of creates a wall right through here. 
Um, and then we have our bedrooms and things for the crew members along this back area, which I think will do a good job. And I don't have any torches on me. Hopefully that's not dark enough to where people are going to die. What if... No, I kind of like that. I kind of like that being a solid block right there. Because then we can do that and create a little doorway and that'll work out perfect. Now this area right here though, that's a big box that there's no way inside. Except right here. So what if we actually go ahead and take these guys back out right like that. And then we actually maybe even take you out and take you out and we create a sort of a wall right here that would be kind of like this, that we can use that as a barricade wall right there. And then we can have this whole area right here for storage, some storage right along here, and then they can come over and just kind of wheel them down into this area. I think that's a good way of dividing all this up. That gives us a lot of space to work with right here throughout this little area. And then, they probably only need to have like that amount of space right there. And we could go ahead and actually get some more rooms back into here probably. Uh, so what if we did like you and then we do like that and then right along. No, because we'd, we'd want that to be right there. We'd want that to be right there, but they need some more room to move around. So what if we do like trace them back to this guy and then we kind of bring it up like that, have a doorway right in here. And then this comes over to that point and we can do that last doorway into that front section right through this spot. This is a lot of weird talking that you guys probably are going to be like, what the heck are you doing, Whip? I think it's going to be a good idea. I think it'll work out pretty well. And we could squeeze like another person or two living up in this area. Let me go ahead and do a little detail work around here. See what I can't figure out, guys. And I'll be back with you. And welcome on back, everybody. So we have our ship pretty much all done and dusted here, ready to go. And I got some cool things to be showing you guys. We didn't change a whole lot on the top. Besides, I did come down here and add a little staircase so that, you know, we have a way on and off of the boat if we need to get cargo on and off. I can't remember if I had done this one before, but I did go ahead and add a little bit of a crow's nest up here at the top too. I figured we just needed something up here to kind of have it fit in and I'm one ladder short. Maybe we go ahead and say that was on purpose and we do that. <laughs> Make it look like, actually I guess we'd want that on the other side, wouldn't we? Um, what's What can we do here? We could go ahead and do a little action like you and you. Then we grab our spruce trap door. And do something like that. Yeah, that, that'll work. That'll work. We'll get those guys when we drop down there. But yeah, I guess we're dropping down there. Okay, then. <laughs> I wanted some crow's nest type thing up there at the top so we could kind of look around, see what's going on, get a cool view from the top of the boat, and then it kind of added a little bit of extra structure to the top of that guy. Besides that, nothing else has changed here on the outside of the boat. The inside of the boat, however, is 100% done. I decided to just go ahead and finish this guy up because I did go through the rest of the video stuff, editing all of it, and we are way beyond 20 minutes, which is kind of my goal every time. So yeah, this guy is all done. We have a bunch of storage and things in most of these rooms. So we got this little storage room right here with a bunch of chests and things like that. Not stuff we could actually access, but more just here for looks. If we wanted to store things on the boat, we could do that if we really wanted to. Back here though, we have one of our bedrooms, which has got four white beds in it and some more storage and things like that. Just extra stuff lying around, all around. I figured it'd be pretty cramped living spaces. I wouldn't be able to fit a whole lot of stuff in here. I really like this one. I had some extra carpet blocks on me, so we put a carpet down here. That one's pretty cool. It's just some basic stuff up here. You guys will, you guys will get to explore this more in detail because we'll have a world download coming up in the next few weeks. Um, and then back here, we have a second bedroom. We got another four sailors living back in here. I figured we have a crew of eight on this boat. I figured for the size of the boat, that's probably pretty good, if not a little bit extra. Yeah, we got some extra storage and things all around this place. We do have a nice little doorway right through here. It kind of is a seamless door too. You can't really tell except for those are off by one pixel, uh, which I think is pretty cool. It's just a trap door wall. And then we open up into this larger storage area where we got a few little, little things over here. We got some chests along there, a little area back here where you can maybe throw some junk over. And then the drop chute, which comes down here for loading and unloading all the cargo is right in here. I got everything up against the walls besides this one here in the middle. So I wanted to go with this guy and kind of add those ladders and rails around it to make it look like it's gonna strap down here and wouldn't go flying all over the place if we hit some big waves or something. And then lastly, we come down to the base. We have a little bit of storage in here. Mostly what I did was I threw some gravel on both ends of this to make it be like some sort of a stabilizing unit for the ship itself because we need to have something like that. Most of the boats, if you look at medieval boats, they, the bottom part of their hull is actually completely full of rocks and boulders 
And I was there to stop the boats from tipping over and just kind of capsizing because there was so much weight with all the people moving on the top. So they figured throw all the weight on the bottom, make sure the boat floats. And I hope you don't put too much weight in there to where it no longer floats anymore. We got all this cool stuff down here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this build. Before we get out of here, though, we got a quick comment or question of the day that we can go ahead and check out, which we can do and just grab this book right here. Our Elytra is sufficiently dead. I need to go repair this guy up very, very soon. I'm probably not going to fly to the Ender Ender. I'll need to walk. Anyways, comment or question of the day is from Frags TV. He's saying... You should add some variation to the height of the walls for the harbor, in different areas at least. So on this one, I want to say I kind of agree with that one. We have this general height right along here with all this, and I think it'd be really cool to have this whole area, especially kind of all those areas over there. We'll probably need to bring this up one or two more uh, to go through the canal area. But yeah, so I want to do that, and we'll definitely add some variation to the walls. Sorry, there's a train going by in the background if you guys hear some rumbling. Here, we're definitely going to bring it over to that point. And then I was thinking this small part here that'd be jutting out, we lower that down like three blocks, have that all going around. And then we have the areas on the far end over there. I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out if this train's getting picked up or not. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna have the areas on the far end over here definitely be a lower because it's more of like the common people and the little, the little boat owners docks and like the locals boats and the fishermen and things like that. They'd be all over in this area. So I figure in here, it'd probably be a good idea to go ahead and reduce the height down a little bit more. So we might have that big wall coming straight all the way through this area, but then we'll have this area for sure over here reduced in height, definitely. I actually have a really cool idea that I want to do up on that area. You guys will have to let me know. I want to go ahead and add a bunch of guilds around this area. Now, I was thinking like a Mage's Guild or a Fighter's Guild or something like that up there. You guys will have to let me know what you guys want to see up in that area, what we should do up there, because we got a cool little bluff area and we need some sort of, I want to do a fort originally. And I figured, why would we do a fort over here and we we're, we're in such a protected bay already? And, oh, there's soul sand in here. Huh, I'll have to change that out. <laughs> but yeah, we got this cool place up here. We got so much stuff going on with it. I was thinking we could go ahead and do a fort up here in the next few weeks and just kind of start working on this. And there's a wolf here. Hi, Mr. Wolf. But yeah, I figured it was a cool view for like, we're right next to the mountain. So like some magey thing or some fighters thing with like some ancient ruins up on top of those mountains. Maybe that's why they position themselves here. We can take it either way. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. There is our boat there in the background. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you are new. And I will catch you on the flip side.